Hi all. Um, I originally said I wasn't going to do pieces on Nazri and Alexis because I feel that most had been explained or most of what I know was pretty common knowledge but I've been asked so much that I am going to do a piece on both. They won't be very long. They might not be that exciting and you might already know what's in them but as I said I've been asked by so many people that I thought I'd share what I know. Um, I'm gonna be, This will be a Nazri piece and uh, I will do a Sanchez piece later on. Um, I've just heard some news on Sanchez that I'm just chasing up. Nothing exciting. Um, but I just want to make sure everything I report is true. Uh, anyway, on to Nazri. Um, to be honest, I feel pretty sorry for the bloke. Um, his move was as much of a standard transfer as you're going to get. Um, his contract was coming to an end. Arsenal, similar to the Van Persie situation, obviously it was a year before, couldn't afford to let him go for free. Um, he didn't want to sign a deal because we weren't competitive. Um, he had no problems with staying at the club. He'd never refused to play in the same way that Cesc did. He never really forced his way out. He even played in the, was it the first or second game of the season at home to Liverpool when we lost 2-0. Uh, that was his last game for us. But he even started the season playing where... To the best of my knowledge, I might be wrong. I don't think Fabregas had left at that time yet, but he, he refused to play, whereas as Nasri didn't and actually played. I can see why people think he's a mercenary and went for more money, and he did get more money. There, w- there was a, a, a wage increase through going to Man City, but his motivation was winning things. I don't think if Arsenal would have offered the same money as Man City would have, it would have made a blind bit of difference. The fact is, they were in a much better place to go and win trophies at the time. And he was eventually proved right. He went there and, and won trophies. Um, I personally think what's more interesting is his career after that. Um, at the time, as I said, I I I, I don't really see, I, look, I boo him as much as the next guy when he's at the Emirates. But that, that, for me, it's all bravado. I don't think he really done anything wrong. He's he didn't do any more wrong than Thierry Henry, and we don't boo him. I'm not saying we should, but Henry wanted to leave and got his move. Nasri wanted to leave and got his move. They both wanted to go and win things. They both went and won things. For me, I think nasri has been very harshly treated. That I mean, the way he came out in the press afterwards, he couldn't handle the abuse, is, is the truth. So once Arsenal fans started abusing, abusing him, he didn't handle it too well. And then there was a few tweets and a few comments in the press which riled up Arsenal fans. But to be honest, that was all I think he'd done wrong. And that was in reaction to the, abu- uh, reaction, sorry, to the abuse he was already getting. Um, the problem with Nasri is... There's no way of putting this nicely. He's a bit of a prick. Uh, he had a lot of arguments at Marseille where he was a star man and he got too big for his boots. To be honest, at Arsenal was the only time in his career he's ever really behaved because he was never the star man. He was always behind Fabregas and Van Persie and, and maybe a couple of others in previous years. So um, he he kind of behaved himself at Arsenal. Going to City and getting big money and winning titles went to his head and, and he's never really recovered from that. Um ego wise and it's like he thinks he's made it or I suppose he has made it but he was on a lot of money he was a very gifted footballer and he kind of got big headed and let it all go to his head and to be honest I think that's ruined his career Um, I'd compare him to a lot of Brazilians that move move young for big money and then you don't they never really have a long career it's very rare you get a Brazilian especially ones that have come from a poor background that they have careers into their 30s Um, even even Ronaldinho, who's as great as you're ever likely to see, is as gifted as you ever like to see. His career is kind of finished by 27, 28. Um, Adriano is, is well publicised that as soon as he made money, he didn't know what to do. Obviously, he lost his father and that contributed, but um, the, the money went to his head. And I think Naz, Nazri's a very similar case. Um, it, I just don't think he's particularly bothered about football anymore. He, he's won his titles. He's made his money. And... I mean, he's always overweight now and I think it's just down to him being a bit of a prick, as I said. But um, in terms of his move from Arsenal, um, I think he's got a very raw deal um, in terms of the fans' opinion of him. So as I said, I think most of this stuff is probably well known anyway. Um, But as so many of you have asked for it, I thought it'd be the right thing to to post it out there. Let me know what you think. Any comments or anything, um, I always try and reply as as long as they're not abusive. Uh, if they're abusive I'll just say thanks for listening and probably send you a kiss so if you want to be sent a kiss feel free to abuse me have a good day everyone and uh, I'll post the Alexis one a bit later as well thank you